Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about why it's important to have good communication skills. So let's get started. As I've been working more and more as an engineer uh, full time, I realize that communication is very important and it's something that you know a lot of engineers should probably learn and I honestly think that we as engineers should have learned or taken a public speaking class. Um, something that involves us to be more uh, talkative or more you know social more out there because uh, when you're an engineer, whether you're even a hardware engineer or a programmer, uh, you will need to you know, talk to others, whether it be your coworkers, your teammates, um, or just to your manager so that you can explain to them what you're working on and how you're you know, adding value to the company. So I'm just gonna go over some, some reasons as to why communication is just so important, especially in engineering where a lot of the times you are staring at a computer screen or you are just coding or you are just working on a board. Um, but there are those times where the most important parts, even though they're like 20 or 30 minutes, are communicating with others so that the company can continue moving forward. The very first reason why communication is vital in engineering is so that you can share your ideas. So for example, you are you know, working on a project, you are trying to figure out a problem and you solve it. You figure out what the problem is and you are able to get that thing or whatever it is uh, that was broken or not working fixed or you develop a new thing to help the company you will have to explain to others especially your manager uh, how you did that like what was going through your mind what made you realize and come to the conclusion or the solution to that problem um, and that involves you know being able to come up with like a presentation and be able to explain it in a way that others will understand so not only will you have to explain the technical stuff to your coworkers or teammates but you'll also have to be able to explain it to those who are not engineers and i think that's where it becomes very very difficult because you can't just say uh, a technical term you have to explain what that technical term is if you're going to say it or just explain the whole thing um, without actually saying, oh, it's this you know, GUI, which is you know, graphic user interface. Well, what's a graphic user interface? Well, it's something that people can you know, interact with on the screen. You know, it's something that they can press the buttons with. You have to be able to figure out a way to communicate what you discovered or communicate what you fixed to others so that uh, the manager can see the progress you've made. They can see that you are doing well um, and that you are helping the company and that may help you you know either get a pay raise or maybe get a better job position who knows but it, it'll just help the company as a whole move forward and the other reason why communication is so important is so that your group if you are working with others uh, can do well on a project or an assignment being able to say hey I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna work on this for a week or two and by the end of those two weeks if I still haven't figured that out or I don't know why it's not working I will let you know <laughs> like just be very explicit about what you plan to do what you're going to do and make sure that you say it every day if you meet with the group again or if you meet with your teammates to just say yes I'm going to work on this and I am going to work on it for a week or two or I'm gonna work on it for the next couple of hours. I'll let you know if I need help or if there's something else that needs to be done. For example, I work in a group, it's a small group of us. We have daily meetings for about 30 minutes where we say, hey, I'm doing this, um, or I need help with this, or um, hey, what are you gonna do in this area? Because I thought we were gonna you know, work on it together or test something out. It's something that I, I didn't realize when I started working that I need to say, hey, oh, I'm gonna do this because they don't know what I'm gonna do. They don't know what I'm thinking or what I'm planning. So I have to be very verbal about it. And it's something that I needed to get used to for a while because of at the very beginning, I just, I guess I assumed that they knew what I was thinking and what I was doing, but that's not the case at all. No one knows what you're gonna do and they definitely don't know what you're thinking. So you have to just verbally say what you're thinking right then and there, or at the very least, you know, document what you plan on doing so that they can see, okay, this person is working on X, Y, Z today. Okay, now they're gonna work on this tomorrow. Okay, I see where they're at. And that way you guys are all on the same page and you're able to actually make progress in that area. That's all very, very important. And it's something that I wish, you know, they would have taught us as a college student because I just, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting so much back and forth. I was just expecting to be working on some project and then reporting to like my manager 
like once a month or something like that about where I'm at and then work on a new project or something. But it's, it's a lot more involved than that. Then again, you may not work in a group, but you still have to keep status with your manager as to where you're at and um, tell them, hey, I'm working on this or I'm going to work on that. And then the next reason why communication is vital, especially in the engineering area, is because you build trust. You'll build trust with your coworkers as well as your manager because you're not only talking about work, but you could also talk about what you're doing, you know, that weekend or whatever. Those little comments or conversations, yes, they may be, they're probably small talk and they may be seen as nothing, but that actually over time builds up trust between you and your coworkers. For example, if you have someone who you've known him for a long time, you start to realize that, okay, this person is actually pretty nice. He's not like insane or a psycho. And also he's shown that he's been able to do the work and he um, has been replying and saying that, hey, I'm gonna work on this and he does it. So I can trust that whatever I assign to him or whatever I ask him to do, I'll hear back from him and I'll hear uh, the status and I'll know where he's at. And that way I can make my own personal changes if I need to and vice versa. Just having that trust between coworkers and between teams and groups is very, very important because you're much more likely to ask for help. For example, I still need to work on that. I need to reach out more and to be like, hey, can you help me with this? And then see if they are willing to. And if they're not, well then, okay. I get what they're not willing to help with and then ask another thing is something that's different, a different type of problem. And then if they are willing to help and they're like, oh yeah, I know that, fine. Um, then I can be like, okay, well they know that area. So whenever there's a problem in this area, I can ask this person. Whenever there's a problem in that area, I don't ask them, I can ask someone else. Over time, it all um, comes together and you're able to navigate around your coworkers, your teammates, and figuring out who should I ask for what problem and it really helps you in efficiency and doing your work because if there's a problem you're like okay i know who to ask or if there is a different type of problem it's like okay no one knows this i'm gonna have to figure it out on my own um, but yeah i think those are all the reasons why communications is very important in engineering and i know that's not very many but they're really important to the progress and success of the company as well as your coworkers and your own personal growth and development. So it's definitely important to maybe get some sort of exposure in that area or if you're an intern to just kind of uh, push yourself to reach out more, talk to others. And if you can get a class in uh, communications, public speaking or uh, business, then definitely do that. Um, even as an elective, that'll, that'll be very, very helpful for you. Uh, long term. But that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. Um, but if you guys ended up liking this video, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you would like to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. Bye.